EDJ Mix Sample Tutorial. Oh yeah! I'm DJ Spiegelspin. I make DJ tutorial videos every other day, and let's get right into it. So EDJ Mix is a great DJ app. If you want to add samples to spice up your gigs, spice up your sets, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to the bottom, right to the right or the left of the crossfader, you could set sampler. Now, this app is different than other apps such as DJ Pro AI, whereas if you set the sampler, then you get to see the whole sampler at the bottom. It's all the bands. But the difference with EDJ Mix is you could have the sampler on the left side or on the right side and then still get to see the whole other side of the deck. So you could still see the jog wheel, still see what's going on. You could have your EQs open. So it's a really cool feature that I like. So to have sampler on, you click whichever side of the deck you want. And then here we have our sampler. Now to add different samples, you're gonna press up here where it says get more samples. I didn't download all of them, but there are quite a bit. This is a lot of sample packs, so you really aren't gonna run out and they gave us a lot. So let me just load up this one. So this is the essential sound pack. You could follow along with me. And now what's different about this sampler is if you look down here at this little A and B, that means that there is two pages. So right here with the air horn first is page one. And then if you press this arrow over here, you get to the second play, second page. So you see how this is fire alarm and all of these ones. And then now we have different ones. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And now if we load up another one, let's just, um, whichever one that I download, load up the EDM. So now this is the brakes. So that's how you get to the different pages. And then to control the volume of the sound, because some of these samples are louder than others, such as the air horn. You can move this volume slider while you press it. So it's lower. And you can fade the volume in. So it's good that they gave us a control of our volume. Another little hidden feature is down here where it says link the sample to the crossfader. What does that mean? Well, I'm here to help. You put that on, so the crossfader's in the middle. Now the sample is working. If we go over to the left, boom. So the volume will get lower, lower with the crossfader, just as if this was a track that was on it, the more you move the crossfader. And if you move it all the way to the left, then that sample will be completely off. But if you have the sample open on both sides, it's gonna be full volume. And then if you go to the right, and if you have it on, then it will be linked to the crossfader. I think this is a really cool feature. I haven't really seen this or I don't know about it in other DJ apps. So it gives you a little bit more of a the dynamic feel to the samples so i really like that this sampler is one of the things that makes this app stand out as a really good dj app so check out this video over here where i show you guys how to load songs so now you could load up your songs and then you could add some samples with it thanks for watching